Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Dell Inspiron 3511 or the 3515. This is the successor of the 3501 series of 3000 series Dell laptops, and we have it hands-on with us. So, if you're planning to buy this laptop, this is the must-watch video. So, let's do it. the silver variant as well as the black variant let's see how the two fare the silver one on the top is having a matte silver finish completely it's not aluminum or it's not metal it's uh, totally polycarbonate and uh, once you open it up uh, you will see anti glare full hd ips panel screen that's a very good thing uh, entry level core i3 ryzen 3 also have the same ips panel screen and uh, it has got three sided nano bezel the camera and a dual array microphone the keyboard is pretty much similar to your 3501 the core i5 graphic card variants will have backlit and the core i3 entry level variants without ssd will not have backlit if you're taking a core i3 with ssd it will have backlit keyboard the touchpad is a unipad it's a pretty large touchpad they have actually reduced the size from the earlier 3501 the 3501 is much slimmer and much compact that's a good thing the design is also pretty nice over here the hinges are also been redesigned so the one that we are reviewing is a core i5 11th generation 8 gb ram 1 terabyte hard drive and a 2.6 gb ssd variant with a 2 gb graphic card the model outlook will remain the same across the processor that you use it might be a ryzen 3 ryzen 5 i3 i5 they will all look the same the silver variant will look like this and the black one which we'll review now will also look the way it is so on the left we have the charging pin connector indicator of the charging hdmi usb 3.0 and c type usb the profile is much slimmer than the 3501 and uh, there has been a nice little cute uh, design change from the previous variants in the front there are absolutely no io ports on the right uh, you have another usb 2.0 port now that could be a usb 3.0 port if dell would have desired and a memory card reader so only two full usb ports and one c type port and c type port is not available in core i3 my friends so only core i5 will have c type port so these are things that uh, Dell should not have done, but that's fine. That's the way it is. Another thing that we are not very happy about is the vent. The heat vent is exactly just below the screen, so the dissipation of the heat happens uh, towards the screen. So there is no free uh, moving air that comes out. That is something that is completely concealed over here. But being an entry level uh, processor, uh, not having a lot of heat being generated from the laptop. that's okay the base uh, is pretty clutter free you have got uh, this patient vent area over here and uh, the speakers are based left and right speaker on the base here and uh, pretty much neat and continued design from the 3501 no much difference in the base design over here the rudders are based over here longer and shorter rudders so once you open the laptop you will see a tilt in the laptop from the side you will see the laptop going behind the front part going behind this acts as sort of a lever which will raise your base and there will be some amount of air that will uh, go in that particular area and make your laptop cooler but on the contrary you have these rudders which are trying to evade the contact between the surface and your laptop's top panel but that i seem is not a good design per se because it is anyways going to touch the base the black variant uh, has got a matte finish all through it's got a rugged uh, matte finish not shiny at all once you open also it's the same uh, three sided nano bezel and again the same jet black continued inside also the keyboard is also black on the sides again the same black finish without the c type port on the core i3 variants and on the right also the same usb port and uh, memory card reader 
with a headphone mic combi jack. The base here is also black, on the contrary the silver variants have a greyish uh, back panel but this one has a jet black. Let's check out the speaker quality of the Dell Inspiron 3511. Fantastic. Speaker quality is simply amazing. Uh, I mean, Dell has integrated some fantastic speaker in this particular model. It's very loud and absolutely not tinny. It's got good bass for this uh, range of entry level laptops uh, to mid range. The speaker quality is really commendable. Let's see if the laptop opens with one hand operation. Okay. Now, stutters. See it stutters and then this opens like this. So I think hinges need some rework after one and a half years. You just get it completely loosened, otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of problems coming up. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and you can see all the screws over here which we need to remove one after the other. These hinges screws will not come off. Now take a prior like this and uh, the cavity that has been created by these two screws, just use that cavity over here as you can see and just protrude the entire thing. And uh, very comfortably, the entire cover will come off. Just need to unscrew here once again a little bit, and then the base will come off. And here is the inners of the Dell Inspiron 3511 or the 3515. Here's the SSD, this is the Wi Fi chip, the fan, hard drive, the battery over here, the RAM bay. So, pretty straightforward here. Let's start uh, with the battery first thing first. First thing, uh, we need to remove the battery connector. We need to remove it like this. The battery connector will be off. And then remove the screws of the battery here. One, two, Three. three screws of the battery and you also need to remove the hard disk connector if you want to remove the battery over here. Just remove it like this and then very comfortably the battery gives away. So the battery over here is a G91J0. It's 11.25 volt and a 3467 mAh battery. 41 watt hours basically. So if you want to use, replace the battery, just need to take a similar battery and uh, put it in the laptop. Now coming to the hard drive area, for variants which do not have a hard drive inside, you need to buy this connector over here. The connector does not come along with the laptop. For this variant that we are having, we have a hard drive plus a SSD, it's a hybrid storage. So people want to replace the hard drive, just need to remove these screws over here and the hard disk bay will come off. This particular connector is what you need to purchase, it's available on our website. So buy this uh, connector and this metal bay is not required per se if it is not coming along. If uh, it is coming along on well and good. So you can take a 2.5 SATA 1 terabyte hard drive or a 2 terabyte hard drive or a SSD of the similar storage. You need to again remove 1, 2, 3 and 4 screws and this metal casing will come off. Just take a similar hard drive and just put this connector over here like this and again fit it back. Coming to the part where the SSD is, just need to remove this. Uh, if it is coming with default SSD, this is the arrangement. It will have a 2230 mini M.2 NVMe SSD. Just remove this one screw over here and uh, just remove the heatsink that is covering the main SSD and uh, take this particular SSD. This is a M.2 NVMe 256 GB SSD that is there along with the laptop. You can just take a similar 2230 or a 2280 long one, the longer stick M.2 NVMe SSD also and you can fit it over here. You can just uh, put it just the way it is inserted over here and uh, there are these notches over here, here and here where the heatsink will go and fit and then you can put the screws back.
So the RAM area is over here. It has got two RAM bays. So the max RAM upgrade capacity is up to 32 GB, 16 plus 16. So if you want to replace uh, the RAM, just need to put your two thumb fingers and the RAM will come off. It's basically a 3200 megahertz, 8 GB DDR4 low voltage RAM or a 16 GB DDR4 low voltage 3200 megahertz RAM that you need to buy. And uh, you can just put it like this and press it on the top and the upgrade is over. The good thing is the 8 GB variants come with one single slot over here so one is available for you to upgrade and having two ram bays best practice is to have even ram slots so 4 plus 4 or 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 for efficient read and write this is the fan you can remove one two screws and the fan will come off if you want to clean up the fan there's a wi-fi chip over here just remove this one screw and you can replace the Wi-Fi chip also. This is the speaker part here. This is connected uh, through this particular wiring over here. As you can see, this is the wiring that is connected over here. So if you remove this particular speaker connector and uh, replace the speakers over, the speakers come off very comfortably. They are not attached by any glue or anything. And uh, same way with this side speaker also. Just need to remove and replace the speakers. So let's fit things back. Let's put the battery back onto the laptop. This is the keyboard connector and this is the backlit uh, connector. So in a scenario your keyboard is not working, just uh, need to remove this particular notch and you can disconnect it and you, you can use an external keyboard for that. Same way with the backlit also. The hard disk connector cable. Let's put the lid back. Need to put it like this and start pressing from all sides. So this my friends was a review come a disassembly video of the Dell Inspiron 3511 and the 3515 irrespective of your processor the process will remain the same. We were really impressed with the web camera, the speaker quality and the new design outlook of the Dell Inspiron 3511. It is much compact than its uh, predecessor and looks very premium actually at this price point. The Core i3 range starts from somewhere around 40,000 rupees here in India and uh, the Core i5 with graphic card variant starts at around 60-65,000 rupees here in India and goes all the way up to 70,000 rupees. So a very good uh, succession uh, by Dell. The one thing that we would uh, want Dell to integrate is maybe two uh, USB 3.0 ports if possible and the heat vent can be looked upon because there is no uh, area where the heat dissipated can move out. It is completely blocked by the display screen. The screen quality is fantastic. It has got IPS panel, uh, wide viewing angles uh, display. The nits valuation is around 250 nits over here. It's not a full 100% sRGB screen. Those you will get only in the 5000 series. So all in all, a very good laptop uh, by Dell. Thank you friends uh, for watching the video. Hope you like the video. Uh, do let us know the suggestions in comments. We will reply to your comments if you subscribe to the channel. So immediately subscribe to the channel and we will reply to all your queries. Thank you so much guys.